everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm doing another collab with the Faithful Fab 9. We are doing using products from black owned beauty brands. It is very important to give a spotlight to brands that are black owned. I do have, I don't have a complete face, but I do have a palette from Ace Beauty or Beauté. And this is an indie brand from a black owned brand. And I also have Fenty Beauty Products, which is owned by Rihanna. Well, 15% of the company is owned by Rihanna. And she does have the name trademarked, but it's like owned by a parent company, but it's still black owned. And I know this black owned, you know, video, using black owned makeup was really popular a few weeks ago and I haven't seen as many lately so I think it's important that we still you know show these products and these brands like give them their moment to shine and keep the momentum going not just stop the momentum so in our collab group we have Faye Blatcher we have Dazzy's Corner, Didi Decor Beauty, um, Gold Works, we have Embrace Your Beauty by Chanel. I said her name wrong the last collab, and I'm really sorry I did that. Um, we have Amethyst Winters, Little Miss Nat, and Little Betsy 79. So we're just going to get into this video, and I'm trying to do like I'm thinking like a colorful look to match my tight eye shirt. So I have this from Fenty Beauty. It is a matchstick and it's in chili mango. And it's this bright like orange. I'm gonna use this as blush. We're gonna go all out. And we're gonna try to blend it out with my my baby blendiful. I and mean, once you blend it out, it's not that orange. It's more, it's like more peachy with a little bit of like shimmer, glitter. And then I have this highlighter. It's the Kilowatt Highlighter by Fenty Beauty and Trophy Wife. So it's that really pretty gold. I feel like as long as I go in with a light hand, it's, it works. Woo. Just gotta be careful. But it's definitely pretty if you're trying to like go all out. And this is a very like shimmery, like glitterly, glitter highlight. So I feel like it's good if you're trying to go for a really glam look. And I'm gonna be using both these palettes. This is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice and Ace Beauty Grand Dosos palette. Gonna be bouncing back and forth the two. I'm gonna go in with the Ace Beauty palette into this shade right here, and I'm gonna like work this into the crease and kind of set down my lid. This is more of a like a peachy cream shade, and work this into my crease. Like these little Ace Beauty palettes are really nice. I feel. Like the palette has good pigmentation, it blends nice. I really enjoy this palette. I know they have really pretty palettes on their website. And now I'm going in with the peach shade it is called Clove. There's a lot of black owned beauty brands I want to try. I've been looking up while well, Beauty Bakery has always been on my radar. I know they're sold at Ulta and like the packaging is so cute. Um, it's just like a bakery theme. And I heard their setting powder is really good and their blush palette is supposed to be really good. Now I'm gonna go in with cinnamon and I'm gonna work that in the outer V. There's also a brand called Lip Bar that is sold in Target. And they have like little eyeshadow palettes. They have, of course, lots of lipsticks and it looks like a really cute brand. 
I would like to try that out if I see it in my Target. And when I went on the website, they have like little eyeshadow palettes and it looks like they're only selling exclusively in Target. Like you can't buy those palettes on their website. Now I'm gonna dip into my Fenty palette and there's like this purple, deep purple shade. And I wanna work that in my outer V as well. See how it goes. I'm not sure if this color will go well. <laughs> But I thought I'd give it a shot. There's also a brand called Mented, like Pigmented. And that's an online black owned beauty brand. And they create, well, you know, they're trying to find the perfect nude for all skin tones because not everyone has pink lips. So the brand is was created to be more exclusive. And I guess the owner of the brand, like was, she had a hard time finding nudes that would work for her. So she would mix up and make her own lipsticks in her kitchen. So she created a brand and they, they're exclusive to all skin, you know, tones. And I was looking at their website and the makeup looks really nice and really, you know, classy and beautiful. I go in with my Ace Beauty palette. I think I'm not really sure what I'm going for. It's like I want to incorporate blue too, maybe. Maybe I'll take this blue right here in the Fenty Beauty palette on a, the other side of the brush, the small, and work this in my lower lash line. Really good. At that. I might have to clean it up. See, I have red in my shirt, red and blue and yellow. Um, we'll do the shade Rose, the shimmer shade. Maybe put, yeah, I'll pat this in like my outer V area, I guess. I'm not sure if this is gonna turn out. We'll try it. And I'm gonna go back in with that peach shade and the Ace Beauty. I almost feel like the Ace Beauty palette has better quality than this palette. The Ace Beauty palette is just so good. Now I did get this the Ace Beauty palette in a BoxyCharm, but they still have it on their website for sale. And they also have a lot of really pretty palettes on their website. And I think I'm gonna cut my crease with my NARS uh, Radiant Matte Concealer, like a, kind of like a half cut crease. Then I wanna take the shade Jasmine and press that onto the concealer. It's really gorgeous, really, really good shimmer. And then for the center, I wanna go in with Primrose. Okay, I think this is it for my look. I'm just gonna pop on some liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, now to finish off this look with lips, I have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk, which is this is awesome. And I also have the Mat Matte Moselle Plush Matte Lipstick in Single. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use both, but I am gonna start off with this. It's just, look at the packaging, it's so sleek. I do love Fenty Beauty's packaging. Like I got all this in a boxy premium and I remember I was so excited to get this box. It's an interesting color on me. It's like a nude, but a very peachy nude. I don't know, it's, it's interesting. And I think I'm gonna tap on some of the gloss bomb. So this is my look using black owned makeup brands, products that I own. I do wanna try more, like Juvia's Place has beautiful eyeshadows. I've always wanted to try Juvia's Place. Um, they're very bold, but they do have neutrals too. And then um, there's Oma Beauty also at Ulta. And I've heard great things about like their concealer. That's the product that stands out to me the most. So there's a lot of wonderful black owned beauty brands that we definitely need to, you know, showcase more on YouTube. I know I'm a very small channel, but even the larger, bigger beauty, you know, YouTubers need to show off the 
the products. And if anything, I highly recommend Ace Beauty. The shadow, the shadow in this little palette are so good and so pretty. And they have, they ha do have quite a bit of shadows on their website and they're just gorgeous. Sometimes you can even find them on BoxyCharm's pop-up. They all have pop-up sales and stuff like that. So, but yes, if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe to me and the wonderful ladies from the Faithful Fab 9. I will link all their channels down below. And I hope you guys all have a beautiful, wonderful day. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.